Welcome to the Line Cruiser Project. What we're going to do in this video is review the brochure for the 1999 Toyota Lion Cruiser. So let's get started. Uh, this Lion Cruiser this year is uh, special to me. I've actually had three of these uh, 1999 Lion Cruisers. I like to listen to that voice inside that draws me to distant places. This brochure will cover styling, heritage, technology, engine, interior, safety, colors and fabric, options and accessories, features and warranties, and specifications and commitment. There were no signs at base camp, but the rules were clear to anyone in tune with the wild. The mild weather can change in a heartbeat, and this Land Cruiser would be there when the tents blew away. In the bottom left, we have a Land Cruiser in desert bronze metallic with available roof rack. When I lost the aerial map, she said, don't quit your day job, which is precisely what I plan to do. Last night at the campfire, we talked seriously about staying, throwing in with Dave and his crew, guiding big game photo tours. Our friends, the nomadic Gabra, are all for it. They know every inch of the landscape and trust us to give back more than we take. We break camp at a leisurely pace, say our goodbyes, and head out at midday for the Ruinzori Range, the Mountains of the Moon. We may have lost the map, but we are full of plans. At the Nepal-Tibet border, the only sound is the wind. The Tibetans call this huge Himalayan upheaval of folded rock the mother of the world. One is reminded at every obstacle that when the going gets really serious, one must rely on an extremely serious vehicle. Toyota Land Cruiser has filled that bill since 1951, venturing well past the points where the road builders have shrugged and turned back. Since mid-century, Toyota Land Cruiser has been a unifying fact of life in some of the most remote and seemingly impassable locations around the globe. Even more on top of its game, the current generation Land Cruiser below is shown in Imperial Jade Mica, surmounting your expectations with ease. And then in line with the heritage, we've got a yeah, photo of a um, 45 series pickup. The infrequent rainstorms create flashing cataracts off the rock the Aborigines call Uluru. Beautiful cascades that amplify the changing colors of the eroded rock as the sun moves. Less beautiful is the will-sucking muck created by the runoff, and I wouldn't want to encounter it in an ordinary sport utility vehicle, one of those come-lately grocery-toting urban show ponies. I choose a rocky ford and cross easily. The Aborigines have immense respect for the individual, irrespective of age, gender, or place of origin. We have hit it off well, and I'll pitch camp here in their beautiful backyard. I will return with a Land Cruiser load full of colorful trade goods and remarkable stories of the power of their dream time. Going through the features here in this Land Cruiser on the right, which does not have a roof rack, nor does it have a sunroof or a rear wind deflector, multi-reflector headlamps with parabolic reflectors and a concentrated beam source produce a clean focus light pattern. The automatic light control system turns lights on or off depending on outside light availability. There's a sensor on the dash that assists with that. Power rack and pinion steering provides turning ease from parking lot to passing lane. The energy absorbing steering column features a breakaway plate and a deformable shaft to help lessen collision effects. The double wishbone independent front suspension with torsion bar spring provides superb off-road drivability and control. Cruising comfort and steering response are balanced by the suspension at highway speeds. 16-inch aluminum alloy wheels with 275-70R16 tires complete the power-to-surface package with sure-footedness and grip. The nine-member ladder frame helps provide torsional rigidity during off-road travel and when towing and four-link coil spring rear suspension with heavy-duty shocks and stabilizer bar helps refine movement on highway and off. The depiction of the Land Cruiser in this image uh, does not have a sunroof, nor does it have the roof rack or the rear wind deflector. Uh, also, the differential appears to have the uh, locking uh, actuator there on it, which is kind of interesting. The electronically controlled automatic transmission with intelligence Easy accommodates the high power output of the V8 engine and helps reduce shift shock for smooth, effortless shifting. In some or other traction robbing situations, Land Cruiser features a second gear start mode for increased traction. Power is of utmost importance in these dark mountains. The books told us it was extremely rugged here, that the awe inducing peaks suddenly plunged seaward with little warning. We wished for a smoother descent and got it. 
with the big V8 muscling us up and down the gorges. With 32 valves, dual overhead cam shafts, and nearly 300 cubic inches, the powerful 230 horsepower engine is one of the most sophisticated V8s in its segment and gave our Land Cruiser confidence of movement that paralleled the mountain goats. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this blend of like storytelling and sales pitch. <laughs> the long intake manifold runner enhances the low to mid range torch. The Toyota uh, direct ignition TDI system improves timing accuracy and overall reliability by eliminating the distributor. The vertical intake port strengthens combustion, providing a broad power band, increased performance, and high intake efficiency. The durable cast iron cylinder block allows compact, steep valve geometry, which results in more efficient burning of fuel and more power. And high performance ignition and longer, longer life can be expected from platinum iridium tipped spark plugs. In this photo, we've got a Land Cruiser in River Rock Green Mica with available roof rack. Again, no sunroof. It's interesting that most of these get photographed without the sunroof. Also, I would presume they actually took the Land Cruiser to these different locations. Uh, compare this to the video that we did of the 2021 uh, Land Cruiser brochure. Uh, these locations seem, yeah, a lot more like exotic. Like they took the Land Cruiser to a whole bunch of different locations, whereas in the 2021 one, it might have just all been in one, you know, relatively nearby spot. In the interior of this tropical rainforest alone. Inside, Land Cruiser's abundant conveniences include clockwise from top to left, an overhead console with storage for a garage door slash estate gate opener, and plenty of map light illumination, a master control panel with illuminated buttons for power door locks and windows with drivers one touch auto up slash down with pinch protection, an outside temperature display and automatic air conditioning, close at hand cup holders, and two position heated front seats. In the interior of this tropical rainforest alone, there are 2,500 species of trees. The good news is that, with such diversity, exploitation of any one species is uneconomical, meaning it won't happen. More good news is that Land Cruiser's interior is going to be around a long time too. Durability was at least as important as comfort to designers, and if you've traveled in a Land Cruiser, you know comfort was high on the list. The convenient center console flows out of the instrument panel control cluster, plenty of storage for cameras and CDs, plus cup holders for all. Think to some of the 100 series review videos that we do where there's yeah, like cup holders here in the center console. Uh, maybe they wanted to make a point out of it since the 80 series just didn't really have that many cup holders at all. Handy cargo nets hold foreign phrase books, energy bars, and roadmaps for where there are roads. Up to nine cup holders serve a full land cruiser. Auxiliary power outlets in the center console cluster, center console storage, and rear cargo area enable the use of equipment from photo strobe lights to refrigerators. See owner's manual for details on these and other features. Maps. A few guidebooks. Pell references to where we've been but we've got a Land Cruiser full of memories, some reinforced with photographs, most not. You don't just haul out the old single lens reflex during a tribal funeral dance or when the Jaguar man shaman is attempting to leave his body to obtain news from a distant village. Rear seat passengers have overhead access to heating and cooling with the available independent automatic rear climate control system. Ivory interior shown with available leather trim and third seat packages. So note there, there's a couple things indicating that these are options, right? The rear AC being optional. Uh, the photo here uh, indicates yeah, a, a vehicle without rear AC. And then um, also noting that the leather trim and the third seat are optional as well. Land Cruiser in River Rock Green Mica with available roof rack and running boards. Again, indicating that the roof rack and running boards are an option. Safety features, driver and front passenger airbag supplemental restraint system, three-point auto emergency locking retractor, shoulder belts in all outboard and second row center seating positions, driver belt is ELR, which is the emergency locking retractor only, two-point lap belt in third row center position and available third row seat, energy absorbing soft upper interior trim. 
adjustable front and second row outboard shoulder belt anchors, driver and front passenger shoulder belt pretensioners with force limiters, driver and front passenger seatbelt warning with buzzer, full-time four-wheel drive with locking center differential, four-wheel disc brakes with anti-lock brake system, ABS, adjustable headrests in all outboard and second row center positions, side impact door beams, child protector rear door locks, daytime running lights, DRL with automatic light control system, center high mount stop lamp, CHMSL. See page 27 for more information on Toyota's driver and front passenger airbag supplemental restraint system. We've hella skied the bugaboos in backcountry British Columbia, but frankly, we were unprepared for this huge snow dome of a country. Amend that, we were quite well prepared, actually, with our Land Cruiser. We just had different notions of what Greenland meant than the Inuit who inhabit the place. Only 50,000 people and their sled dogs live on the largest island in the world. It's a massive ice cap and a heck of a lot of fun in the Land Cruiser, especially with the confidence that four-wheel disc brakes with ABS provide, even in low-range operation. The middle row center seat features a headrest and three-point shoulder belt. Plastic ribbing covers roof pillars and helps absorb and disperse secondary impact energy in the event of a collision. Land Cruiser in black with available roof rack. Fabric in ivory or gray shown. So this brochure let me know of one thing that I wasn't aware of, that the fabric, you know, the upholstery, the cloth, uh, came in both ivory, which I had owned, and gray, which I actually hadn't seen, but just actually recently saw one. Available leather trim package in gray or ivory, and the ivory is shown. Individualize your Land Cruiser with genuine Toyota options and accessories. Remember, Toyota vehicles are built with popular option combinations. Not all options are available separately, and some options and accessories may not be available in all regions of the country. So, see your Toyota dealer who can help you locate the Land Cruiser that's right for you. The rich glow of available genuine wood accents, the instrument panel, echoing the great outdoors for which Land Cruiser owners have such affinity. Land Cruiser in River Rock Green Mica with available roof rack and running boards. All right, so we've got the colors here on the left. The only color that you couldn't get with the gray interior uh, was Desert Bronze Metallic, but let me just read the names. Champagne Pearl, Natural White, River Rock Green Mica, Mahogany Pearl, Desert Bronze Metallic, Imperial Jade Mica, Atlantis Blue Mica, and Black. Land Cruiser, the engine is a 4.7 liter 4 cam 32 valve EFI electronically fuel injected V8. The transmission is a 4 speed electronically controlled transmission with intelligence. Uh, standard features are aerodynamic multi reflector halogen headlamps with daytime running lamps and automatic light control system, integrated fog lamps, color coordinated front and rear bumpers, five spoke aluminum alloy wheels with 275 70R16 tires, front and rear frame mounted towing hooks. Front and rear heavy duty mud guards, color coordinated body side molding, dual color keyed power heated outside mirrors, privacy glass with UV reduction, leather wrap steering wheel and shift leather, driver and front passenger dual sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors, tilt steering column, driver and passenger airbag supplemental restraint system, overhead console with storage compartments, dual map lights for front and second row seats. Variable intermittent front and intermittent rear wipers. Heated 10-way driver and 8-way front passenger power adjustable seats with armrests. Reclining 60-40 split fold-down second row bench seat with center and outboard headrests and three-point shoulder belts. Anti-theft system with engine immobilizer. Key integrated multifunction remote keyless entry system with panic feature. Cruise control. CFC automatic climate control system with air filtration. Front and rear door and front seat back storage pockets. Rear seat heater with separate controls, six cup holders, center console storage area, three auxiliary power outlets in the center instrument cluster, console storage area, and rear cargo area, outside temperature display, speedometer, tachometer, coolant temperature, fuel level, oil pressure, and voltmeter gauges, digital odometer, and twin trip meters, airbag seat belts, low fuel level, door ajar, and rear tailgate warning lights. Premium 3-in-1 ETR cassette CD with 7-speaker, 170-watt maximum output, FM diversity reception, and adjustable power antenna. There was only one wheel option, which is a standard 5-spoke aluminum alloy wheel. Options include tilt and slide power glass moonroof with sunshade and one-touch open-close operation with pinch protection, locking rear differential, 
leather trim package, which includes leather trim seats and headrests and synthetic dork trim. Third seat package, which includes removable 50-50 split fold down rear bench seat with outboard headrests and three point shoulder belts, two point center lap belt, power rear quarter windows, three rear seat cup holders, assist grips and child protector rear hatch lock. And finally, independent automatic rear climate control system. So notable there is that the moonroof, the locking differential, which we all knew, the third seat package uh, were all um, in the rear climate system, were all options. And yeah, we do see a variety of those kind of scattered throughout. There's three of these options that were pretty standard uh, for all of them. Um, those were the moonroof, the leather trim package, and the third seat package. Um, those were present on yeah, most Land Cruisers, probably 95%. Uh, probably the next were yeah, very similar, the, the locking rear differential and the uh, independent automatic rear climate control system. Those were present on yeah, quite a few of them. I would say yeah, roughly like 50% with yeah, probably that automatic rear climate control system being yeah, more, uh, more probable um, than the, uh, the locking rear differential. But yeah, by far, finding one without a moonroof is yeah, very rare. I won't read all the specifications, but I'll scroll through them. Notable for me here is the headroom. It indicates without moonroof and rear climate control. Uh, so those are the max figures, 40.6 inches in the front row, 39.8 in the middle, and 36.8 in the rear. Angle of approach, departure, breakover degrees are 34, 26, and 25. Before we move on from the specifications, just wanted to compare a couple of these to the incoming 2024 model year Lexus GX 550 which is the precursor for the reintroduction of the Lion Cruiser, likely in the 2025 model year. Engine displacement on the 100 series Lion Cruiser is 4.7 liters compared to 3.4 uh, liter V6 twin turbo engine on the GX550. Horsepower figures for the 100 series are 230 compared to 349 for the GX550. Torque is 320 pound feet for the 99 Land Cruiser with 479 being available on the GX550. Uh, the transmission on the 99 Land Cruiser is a four speed transmission. The GX550 is 10 speed, uh, both automatic. Comparing the overall height, the 99 Land Cruiser is 73 inches with the height of the GX550 being 75.59, uh, which is in the premium. The overtrail is 76.18. The overall width of the 99 Land Cruiser is 76 inches with the overall width of the GX550 being 83 inches, including the mirrors. The overall length of the 99 Land Cruiser is 192.5 inches. The overall length of the GX550 is 197.04 inches. The wheelbase is 112.2 inches on the 99 Land Cruiser, and it is 112.2 inches on the GX550. Regarding some of the off-highway performance numbers, on the 99 Land Cruiser, the approach, departure, and breakover angles are 34, 26, and 25. Com compare that to the overtrail, in which the approach, departure, and breakover angles are 26, 22, and 24. Um, significantly less approach angle uh, on the GX550 compared to the Land Cruiser. Almost, it's an eight degree difference four degrees less departure on the GX550, and finally two degrees less on the breakover. So significantly less um, favorable geometry on the GX550 uh, versus the 1999 Land Cruiser. Ground clearance on the 99 Land Cruiser is 9.8 inches. Uh, a figure is not yet available for the GX550, but the inclusion of 33 inch uh, wheels and tires is, is going to be helpful in getting that number and keeping that number up for the GX550. The towing capacity on the 99 Land Cruiser is 6,500 pounds. The towing capacity on the overtrail trim of the GX550 is 8,000 pounds. 
Reading the yellow text in the middle, for over 40 years, the team members at Toyota have dedicated themselves to providing you with vehicles of the highest quality and reliability. During that time, Toyota products have continuously improved and adopted to your ever-changing needs. Today, Toyota is one of the most trusted names in the automotive world and one of the few things you can really depend on to go where you need to go and do what you need to do every day. Now our commitment is stronger than ever to automotive safety, to the environment, and of course to you, our customer. Not only can you count on the quality of our vehicles, but on our enthusiasm for making your entire ownership experience as easy and rewarding as possible. You can receive low monthly payments and attractive finance and lease programs through Toyota Motor Credit Corporation. For added peace of mind, extended service contracts and maintenance programs are available through Toyota Motor Insurance Services. If you would like to share your thoughts and opinions, please call our Customer Assistance Center. Come experience a Toyota. You'll discover that there's still something you can trust each and every day. All right, so reading the graphics here on the left, which were covered up by the color options, uh, a locking matte black aluminum ski attachment fits the adjustable roof rack. Also topside, the power tilt slide moonroof and wind deflector accessory unite the breeze into you. You know you're going to where some of the roads don't. Secure objects prone to roll or bounce with this sturdy nylon cargo net. It hooks the top and bottom. And then accessories are listed as rear window deflector, Accessories are listed as rear wind deflector, hood protector, spare tire lock, roof rack, gold emblem package, black pearl emblem package, wheel locks, running boards, sunroof wind deflector, ski rack attachment, bike rack attachment, towing hitch receiver, towing accessories, front end mask, genuine wood grain dash trim, carpeted floor and cargo mats, and cargo net. Now that you've read the book, experience it on screen. All right, so there you go. The lineup at the time was the Corolla, Camry, Camry Solara, Avalon, Sienna, Celica, RAV4, 4Runner, Land Cruiser, Tacoma, and the Tundra, available in the spring of 1999. All right, so there's the content of the 1999 Toyota Land Cruiser brochure.